Hi, welcome back to our channel. My name is Julie, and today is July 28th. I'm really grateful that you're here with me today. And um, we're going to be reading from Each Day a New Beginning. And um, we're filling in the gaps with uh, some of the readings. Um, tomorrow's reading will be from last year. So you'll just have to go on to the main page if you're so called to do it, and then um, put in uh, July 29th, each day new beginning. And you'll also get other ones that come up for July 29th too as well if you are following along in this, this um, series. And then back, yeah, so I have like a list of updating to fill in the gaps of the readings because I, I did skip quite a few. Uh, when, uh, when I was changing out books and anyway, without further ado, I'm not going to, I'm going to just read and um, first off, it starts with a quote from Kathleen Andres and it says, the beauty of loving someone is the feeling of wholeness. The beauty of loving someone is the feeling of wholeness that I experience. The need for that individual in my life. The I'm a part of you and you're a part of me. Feeling that connects two people and makes them necessary to each other. So the beauty of loving someone is the feeling of wholeness that I experience, the need for that individual in my life, the I'm a part of you and you're a part of me, that feeling that connects two people and makes them necessary to each other. So that's a um, quote from Kathleen Andres. It's pretty gripping something to think about. I'm a part of you and you're a part of me feeling. All that I asked, so I'm going to continue with what the reading says about that or elaborates as this book does. And it says, all that is asked of us by our creator is that we love one another. Where love doesn't flow easily, perhaps we can just decide not to hurt someone. We can decide that. We're aware. If we each avoided hurting all people for just one day, lives would be transformed. We'd each see the world with a fresh perspective. The more we love others, any others, the deeper our love will grow for all others. Loving lifts our hearts, loving lightens our burdens. Every day's tribulations can become triumphs when we carry love in our hearts. Love fills us up and the more we share it, the fuller we become. We are connected, each of us to one another, all of us together. Our contributions to the whole are necessary. Its completion is made perfect by our presence. This is beautiful. As I pass a friend today, I will be grateful for their contribution to my wholeness too. So I can feel that, I can bring that to work with me. I can bring that when I'm spending time with my family, as I'm in the grocery store, 
I got to go to the grocery store today, finally. And um, I was kind of upset just a little bit at myself more so that I missed out on this coupon that I was, that I was, it was such a good coupon. The lady said when she was like, when I gave it to her, she's like, oh, this is a cute, good coupon. I'm like, you know, finally I'm, cause I'm not really good at giving out, giving the coupons or saving them. And then at the very end, she's like, oops, it's expired. And I was like, you know, because I have really not been taking that time to go to the grocery store because I'll get off work at like, I work from 10, I've been working from 10 to seven, like 10 to seven, 10 to seven. I do that. I'm doing that tomorrow as well and the day after. And after a while, like it's the whole day, you know, and then I have the out, the, you know, because of labor rules, you take an hour for lunch. So you don't get paid for the time that you have to kind of stay there so that you can go back to work. So I'm like, that's kind of grinding me a little bit. I'm kind of getting a little bit annoyed with that. Um, what's that got to do with this showing love? Well, I mean, in order for me to have a quality of life during times when maybe I'm getting annoyed with like how much time I'm spending at work versus with my family because that's and with my other projects like you know what am I doing with that I have what I have to do <laughs> excuse me is look for the the joy and the connection with other people so that I feel whole. So this reading will help me bring it to every part of my life so that I cannot feel, ah, like what? You know, like, so I won't be like, uh, miserable or discontent over uh, what my reality is. You know, if I look at it the dark way, like, oh my gosh, you know, like, you know, what I was just talking about, like, oh, I have to be there from, from 10 to seven. And then like, I only have an hour off in the middle of the day. And what am I going to do with that hour? I need to like, should I go to the grocery store and like, that's not enough time for me to go to a grocery store, bring home the groceries, and then come back to work and be on time, right? It's not enough time for me to go and get my nails done and be back to work on time. It's not enough time for me to go, things that I, I like feel like I'm missing, like to go <laughs> get a massage, and get back to work. It's not enough time for me to go get a pedicure. Like things that I've been like going, I wish I had time to do these things, but on my only day off, I would like to spend just, I would like to sleep a little. I'd like to go to yoga. I would like to go to the, I need to go to the grocery store. So like it, the time that I'm off, I need to do tasks as well as just be home with my my cats and my my family, you know, let alone maybe take some time. We are going to be going to, um, we went to a movie the other night, which was wonderful. And that was great. Um, so yeah, I'm, I do the things that I, that I like to do, but like that, like that hour, what do you do with that? So during that hour, I still basically work because, you know, I'm still there. I want to be ready. Like, so what is that? So what can I do? Let me read. The beauty of loving someone, the beauty of loving something is the feeling of wholeness that I experience. 
So I choose to love my job so then I can feel full. I choose, like, if it's talking about I'm a part of something, you know, if this, if I take this apart from me, the need for that individual in my life, the I'm a part of you and you're a part of me feeling, um, I can put that into my job. Like the need for that purpose outside of my family life, my job is that I'm a part of, and it's a part of me. Feeling that connects us and my job and that work, whatever it is. I mean, it could I can relate this to painting. I could relate this to to anything. And um, I'm connected. And that's a choice. It's like a perception choice. And that's where recovery for me is a perception change where I can, I feel like I can shift because of the work that I'm doing in this. So this way I can, because I don't want to feel miserable or discontent because I know that it'll take my day down. It, it like, like the whole lens becomes not so fun to look out. And I, you know, like I want to have a good day. I want to have fun. I want to have like as best I can, right? So what can I do to add to that? I don't know. Maybe I can see if somebody else will be at this, you know, at a similar similar lunch. You know, even though we're shorts, there's not that many people in the store. I don't think maybe there, but maybe I can make some phone calls. The other day I did. I called my I called my son. Um talked to him. So that was fun. And um texted my daughter, you know, so like, and then what I can do tomorrow is I can make some phone calls on my hour break so that I can get my youngest an appointment <laughs> to get his wisdom teeth pulled. Yeah, that's interesting. It's, it's uh, the end of July. They said that the earliest they have for for their for the insurance to cover it is going to be February and I thought oh boy that's that's far so July so July so August September October November December January so seven months from now like wow so get that appointment I need to do that tomorrow so all right Anyhow, yeah, thank you guys for um, for uh, supporting this channel by showing up and listening. Um, I'd like to hear how and what's going on for you. What's, you know, you know loving others is like, like that outlook. If I can just bring that through my day or by reading this, somehow I feel like it's in there somewhere where I can, um, and then coming here reading helps me to um, have like a starting point of, uh, you know what, to somehow assimilates in there, but anyhow. So let's go ahead and say the serenity prayer together, okay? And, um, I appreciate you and um, go ahead and settle in and just take a nice deep breath in and out. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we can't change. Can't change other people, places, things outside of us. And have the courage to change the things that we can. We can change ourselves 
our perceptions, our, our attitudes, our actions, and wisdom to know the difference. So one day at a time, keep coming. It works if you work it, and um, you're worth it. You are loved. I love you, and the universe does, absolutely. And um, here just learning how to live life on life's terms with the ups and the downs and all arounds. Yep. And um, so the world card is the card that's pulled today. No, this is the ideal. This is that perfect world that we're trying to create in our minds and, you know, it's being held up. You know, there's that, um, with the world card, I think it's, it's just, it's an optimism that, yes, I have optimism for my day. And um, that's what gets me through a lot of it. Like that's, it's fulfilling to have this optimistic view of your world, of my world, and so that I mean, if I start picking it apart and thinking it's lousy, which I have done before, it is not so fun. You know, I can go right down into the deep shit of depression. And why would I want to do that? So that I could be smarter, so that... I could prove to other people that I actually know what's going on around here. You know, I have people, a lot of times they'll come in with this coupon thing, right? For instance, what I took to the grocery store today, I could have been miserable about the coupon. I would have said, oh, well, that's just how my life always runs. Of course, I didn't. I didn't get here on time because I work so hard and then I don't even show up on time for my kids and my groceries. Ah, I could have just been a miserable bitch about it, which it was hanging around. I heard that. She was like looking at me like, aren't you going to just complain? And I thought, no. For what? So I could be miserable? Are you going to just... Are you going to be around and hang out with me? I don't want to hang out with you. I don't want to hang out with miserable me. So it's a choice. And I'm learning how to each, how to like, you know, it is what it is. I have people do that to me a lot at work where they're like, oh, this coupon, or oh, this, I love, blah, blah. and I'm just like, this is just how it is, and sometimes I'll just, I can fool, I can fool with something and fix it for them, and sometimes I can't, and sometimes when they're really miserable about it, like, I start to get shaky, and like, they're, it's like, just accept what there are certain rules about certain things and that's the way it is. And let's be surprised together if it works or let's just be kind to each other and accept how it is. So as this happened to me today, I thought, okay, if she, the gatekeeper of coupon were to say, oh, well, that's okay. We're going to bypass this because you're such a good customer. That would have been really, wow. But it didn't happen and I'm okay. Because, I mean, because then maybe I would have said um, next time, like, well, they did it for me last time. And then I would have felt entitled. Or, yeah, anyway, there's just... There's just so many scenarios that I just want to keep it simple. And acceptance is key. Or serenity. And who's the serenity for? Me. 
because that's that's what I have the courage to control is my self and my serenity. No one's going to give me serenity. I'm not going to get it from outside anywhere. So it's my view of the world. So as it's my view, then you can have your view and have your serenity or not. It's a choice. So with that said, I love you guys. And um, I'm going to go ahead and go. And please like, thumbs up, and subscribe if you haven't already. And um, if you don't see a new video for this book, it's because there will be one. Because, uh, I, like I said, I believe on the 30th. Um, yeah. So just keep a lookout if you're, if you want to keep, you know, sailing along with this particular book, but otherwise there are readings, uh, courage to change hope for today, one day at a time in Al-Anon and, um, course in miracles. So they're all up already. So this is the one, this is the one that we've been working on. All right. So I love you and I will see you God willing tomorrow. Bye.